Hi guys, today I have the Orly Fall 2020 collection to review for you. It is early, I know, but not as early as Essie. <laughs> but anyways, I bought the Color Pass not too long ago, so they send out the fall collection pretty early on. I received it last week. I've been playing with them, swatching them, and try to just wear them and see how they perform. I have to say that right off of the bat, this collection is great. And all of the polishes have great formulas. And I probably would just run quickly through them just because all of the formulas are very consistent and they are all very similar too. So I don't want to keep repeating myself. But basically this collection has six gorgeous kind of fall muted uh, colors and the theme is called Desert Muse. So everything carries this kind of desert, uh, red rock kind of vibe. <laughs> the first color is Midnight Oasis. This one is a midnight, deep, deep kind of denim blue color. And the formula on this one is really easy. Now Orly has the rounded and wider brush. Everything just applies like a dream. And this one is an easy two coater. I was hoping to get an opaque in one coat, but it just wasn't quite there. Two coats definitely gets you covered and everything actually dried pretty glossy on their own. So if you really, really want to skip top coat, you could, but of course I will always recommend using base and top coat to make it last a little longer. But this one is a really gorgeous one and it's just very pleasant to work with. The next color is Sage Brush. This one is probably my favorite from the collection, mainly because it is very unique. If I don't read the name, if I just look at the polish on its own, I would definitely categorize this as a gray. And maybe it has like a pretty strong green undertone or sage undertone, but I think the name kind of suggested it more like a green. <laughs> so up to your interpretation, I guess, to me, this one is a strongly green leaning gray color and it's a little deeper, so it's very elegant. And I feel this color gives me a lot of that city chic kind of vibe. And again, this one has a really easy to work with formula. I enjoyed it quite a bit. And I think this one is definitely unique in my collection. And the next color is the lightest in the collection. This is in the color Roam With Me. This is a blush kind of uh, neutral color. It has quite a bit of a yellow undertone in there. It's a little bit more beige. Uh, it's not a true pink for sure, but I actually prefer that a lot. I think that works with my skin tone. And I enjoyed that kind of neutral color all year round. And it could just be a office appropriate, like all occasion appropriate kind of basic color. The formula is impeccable. And with a color this light, it was really, really easy to work with. And I have no complaints whatsoever. And if you're just looking for a more salon-like color, you can definitely go with this one. The next one is one of my other favorites from the collection. This is in the color canyon clay this one is a uh, uh it's just a brown i guess <laughs> it's beautiful it's a very kind of warm brown i just love it i usually don't even like browns on me but this one just has something different in there that really works well with my skin tone and i think this collection wouldn't be desert appropriate without this color this carries all of the desert kind of leather boots or like um, red rock kind of feeling. I don't know. I just love this so much. I think this one is so fall appropriate and it definitely has a lot of that brick tone in there too. The formula is so easy, so buttery, and it was just a dream to work with. The last two colors are a little similar, so I want to bring them side by side so you can see the difference. So this lighter one is in the color Red Rock. This one is obviously more red. And the purple color is called Wild Abandon. So uh, you can see we have a purple and a, uh, what do you call this, burgundy? Um, <laughs> wine color, maybe, I don't know. Um, a lot of those colors are just really tricky to name. But regardless, you can see the difference here. So let's start with Red Rock. So Red Rock is a gorgeous kind of creamy color. This one is so rich and so sexy. It just brings you all of the fall vibe. It's so appropriate for all occasions. I feel this is your like classy red for the fall, basically. 
you can wear this to anything and it would just be sexy looking and of course the formula is so smooth and i really have nothing bad to say about this and also it didn't have any staining issues whatsoever it was just super easy to work with and the last color is the vampy purple and this is again in the color wild abandon and this one is just all the vamp that you need in the fall and even carrying you into winter and i feel this could really be appropriate if you're going for the more uh sexy kind of vibe or if you're looking for some sort of halloween nail art so this one could just be perfect for that a deep purple can never do you wrong in the fall and winter season anyways and of course this one is super easy to work with a dried glossy easy to remove so all around this is a great polish as well so overall i really really liked this collection i think the formula again is impeccable and everything just applied like a dream and i have nothing bad to say and color wise i totally love those two the most sagebrush and canyon clay just because i feel those two colors are the most unique in my collection and i think next to the brown uh, the green in sagebrush really started to show through too. So I think this one is definitely a very, very unique kind of sage gray. So beautiful. And I am doing some sort of nail art with them. I'm thinking I want to start a series called something probably like three nail art looks, one collection kind of going after the three palette one no three looks one palette uh from the makeup community uh just so that we have different ideas how to use a collection if you don't just wear them plainly right um i want to see what i can do and i am no expert in nail art whatsoever so all of the designs from me are going to be very easy and i hope that will give you some ideas how to utilize those collections and not just swatch them once and put them away right we all tend to do that but anyways let me know if you will be interested in something like that if so i do have a few ideas in my head right now i would probably just compile those um, ideas and film like actual tutorials how i make those nail arts and make a video like that for every collection that i buy but that's basically it um i am really really happy with the collection and if you're curious with a color pass it actually came with a matte top coat too so i think that's brilliant because a lot of those colors look really gorgeous mattified um, they gave more of that kind of retro or like wild west kind of look so uh, i think that's a brilliant kind of combination there's also a cuticle pusher but you know this is not a review for the color pass it's a review for the collection so i won't get into the details of those um but overall, I'm really happy with it. I think Orly did a great job. And let me know if you would be picking up this collection. I'm just curious um, how many of you guys actually really like it. Um, but that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.